what's up you guys it's megan and this video is about the most important thing to know as a high schooler when it comes to your education and your career path no matter what you want to be when you grow up and even if you don't know what you want to be when you grow up there's this age-old phrase that is time is money what are you doing sitting around time is money go get a job well people kind of imply when they say stuff like that is they want you to exchange your time for money. When you're in high school, it's very common for you to exchange your time for a minimum wage job. And people are really rewarded and like looked at as successful when they work three different jobs. They're a straight A student. They, they waitress and exchange their time for money. They babysit and exchange their time for money. They you know, work at a Target and exchange their time for money. And what the people who advance in their career faster learn, and the people who learn about what they want to do in life faster, is they recognize their time as not equaling money and wanting to, like, exchange it for money really quickly. They recognize their time as an asset. And what I mean by that, because I'm sure that could mean lots of things, um, think of it as a house, right? If you have a house and it, you just buy a house and it's run down and maybe you rent it out, it rents out at like a certain price. Made up numbers, this is not what a house rent at, but let's say $100 a month. And you could do nothing to that house and just make $100 a month for the rest of your life. But why would you do that when you could spend a lot of time and money making the house really pretty, fixing it up over a summer, and then rent it out for like $500 a month against not realistic rental prices for a house. But you could 5X the rental price of that asset just by putting time into making it prettier and more put together and more modern and things like that. So taking the house analogy, if you wanna treat your time like an asset, you want to increase the value of your time as soon as possible before you start exchanging your time for money. And what I mean by that is in your summers, in your free time, in the time outside of school that you're allocating for work, why go into a job that will constantly give you the same amount of money when you can go into a job that is going to teach you something and increase the value of your time? So an example of this is if you want to be an entrepreneur, I'll start with that because that's what I do. One summer I was waitressing and I was just making the same hourly rate and getting tips and things, but my the value of my time was worth a certain amount. That summer I got an internship where I learned about digital marketing. Now after that point, instead of asking for a minimum wage if I got a job, I could offer my digital marketing skills at a higher price because I had experience. That is one way that you could invest your time to increase the value of it when you're young. Something that I did, I did get one internship and then also I spent my time building a business and learning those skills so I could pay myself more than time for money, time for money, like the same amount of money. I started a business and when I started paying myself, I could pay myself $20 an hour, which was a lot for me at the time. And then I could pay myself a couple months later, $60 an hour. And then a couple months later, you know, $70 an hour. And that was just insane to me, but it was because I invested all that time in learning skills. So what I recommend for high school students is if you have an idea of what you want to do, get an internship in that skill as quickly as you can. And once you learn one skill, um, jump to another skill. It's basically like school that pays you money and also increases the value of your time. It's a double win. Um, so in school, you memorize a bunch of terms and concepts, but in these internships that are going to increase the value of your time, you're also learning skills while you're getting paid and you're learning them through experience, which is very different than just memorizing terms for classes. So 
A second way for you to increase the value of your time through these experiences is the way that they show up on a college application if college is something that you want to do. So I invested a lot of my time in starting a business, of doing these internships, and when you're constantly progressing yourself through experience, you actually increase your likelihood for scholarships because scholarships want you to be a well-rounded person and a well-rounded career adds to that value. So I saved, instead of just saving up for school, I worked on diversifying my work experience and I ended up getting tens of thousands of dollars in scholarships, which was very valuable to me. Um, a third way that focusing on experiences will help save you money is that testing out different jobs before you actually decide on what you're going to major in will save you a lot of money in college. People say that it is okay to be undecided in college, which in some facets it is, but it's also okay to eat ice cream every day and nothing else. So it's okay to be undecided, but it will eventually cost you more money. If you know what you want to do, then you'll have to take less classes to graduate. You'll have to pay for less classes. You'll have to dedicate time to less classes. Less classes. Additionally, if you figure out what you want to do earlier on in life, you can start building up relevant work experience to get really good or really creative in that field in order to excel and make and increase the value of your time faster instead of exchanging your time for money if you gather all these different experiences and grow the value of your time you'll also use these different experiences to grow your understanding of what you want to do in life and then you'll have to pay for less classes or you'll find out that you want to do something <clears throat> that might not require as much schooling for example my younger brother knows that he wants to be a mechanic or potentially own a mechanic practice you know work his way up and you don't need a college degree to do that you could just go to a trade school um, maybe you decide that you want to be a professional dancer or a dance teacher maybe you're like me and you decide that you want to start a business and you end up taking a couple engineering classes a couple um, business classes and then you drop out of school to start your business either way that's gonna save you a ton of time and money or maybe you decide that you want to be a doctor and that's just going to help you get scholarships because medical school is very expensive. Um, so yeah, those are different ways that treating your time like an asset will save you time and money and help you figure out what you want to do sooner, which will just make you feel happier, more fulfilled and smarter like just figuring out what you want to do sooner means you can gain more skills in that field and it makes you feel more advanced even if you're not necessarily intellectually smarter than your peers you're just a little farther along people always give me so much credit for running a multi-million dollar business at 22 but i started this shiz five years ago so i've had a lot of time to make mistakes and figure it out um so yeah, that concludes my advice on the most important thing for you to know about your time when it comes to your education and your career. So please, please, please uh, consider your time an asset and not just a thing that you can exchange for money. Think about it as something that can grow and something that you need to learn about and form into something that you enjoy. Also, por favor, hit the like button, potentially the subscribe button if you want to see more of this face talking to you. And also, have a good day. And thank you so much for watching this video.